to my channel thank you so much for being here and i really appreciate your time so i have just dyed this wig this beautiful color um it is absolutely gorgeous i love it so this was something that i wanted to try because i've been wanting some red hair something something similar to this for a while so i started watching videos on youtube and i discovered that this is a way that you can lighten your hair without bleach um but still with a developer and this is how it turned out this hair is absolutely gorgeous like so let's do a full spin okay this unit is 18 inches long i have obviously like picked her out and like fluffed her you know did a lot of fluffing because i like my hair big so <laughs> i'm going to be showing you exactly what i did in this video um, pretty much everything other than you know the process where I actually washed my hair but I am going to show you how I you know applied the color all the things that I used to get this look so if you are interested in getting this gorgeous gorgeous color please keep watching okay so these are all the products I'm going to be using for this entire dyeing process so I have five bottles of the highlights uh, color in the color magenta. So that's what I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I have 40 volume developer As soon as I'm done rinsing the color out I'm going to use a bit of neutralizing shampoo just to tell the developer to stop developing and then I'm going to go in and shampoo and uh, Condition my hair with this L'Oreal Total Repair Extreme Renewing System. It is really really good on bundles and um, human hair units and as you can see, I have a big tooth comb here to help me get through the sections of the hair, as well as these clips to help me clip my sections out of the way so that everything stays organized. And I, you know, that's pretty much it. So this is the gorgeous unit that I am going to be dyeing today. Um, she is a kinky curly full cap with a silk base part at the top. And I'm gonna be dyeing her uh, mostly magenta, but leaving the roots darker so it looks a bit more natural so yeah this is what i'm going to be dying so i have decided to cover my entire mannequin head and most of the wig stand with a plastic bag so that when i'm dying this i'm not going to be staining my mannequin so i have a dye bowl but it's like i said i'd rather use this one because i have so much dye that i'm getting ready to use so all right i'm gonna start adding the dye in that i need to get out I could see automatically why you need so many of these. Like, other than the fact that they're for highlights, but just because, like, this 10, foily 10 that this, the, the product is in, it's very, like, I don't know. This is what we have. This is five bottles, five tubes of the product without any of the developer in it. So now we're gonna pour the developer. So you don't want it to be super liquidy, but you also don't want it to be like super thick. So I'm just eyeing it based off of like what I saw other young ladies doing on YouTube. right here so this is what we have and now I can put it on my hair so this is the back section I'm getting ready to do right here and let's get started <laughs> Right here, what you see me doing is going section by section. I'm literally just applying with my hands. I did have a dye bowl, but as well as a brush, <sighs> but it really wasn't necessary. I, you know, I just was grabbing the sections and slapping the product on. That made it a lot easier for me.
ended up having to do in this video was I realized uh, once I got to the top section that I had ran out of dye and that five dye boxes was unfortunately not going to be enough. <laughs> so I literally had to do a mad dash to the hair uh, beauty supply store that's up the street from my house because you know the product was on the hair it was processing i'm like okay i need to get more this is not going to be enough i don't feel like stopping and starting another day i just need to drive fast <laughs> drive quickly pay for the dye come back home and finish what i'm doing and that's exactly what i ended up having to do and i don't know if you can tell which i'm glad you can't tell but the back was actually you know did the most processing and the front had the shortest process because this is exactly the spot where I ran out of dye. So, right here I'm showing you what it looked like when I was done applying all of the dye, how the hair looked. Um, I can honestly say that I do feel like um, using 40, vo 40, 40 volume developer um, and leaving it on because I think I left it on for between like 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I really didn't want to compromise the texture of this hair, but unfortunately I do feel like the hair texture is a little bit different from when, you know, obviously I first purchased the um, wig. It's not like drastically different, but I can tell like the curls loosened just a tad. Um, so just, just be mindful of that when you are working with 40 volume developer, um, that the longer you leave it on, you know, you might possibly compromise uh you know the texture or the health of your hair when i was done washing the wig um i definitely went back with um a neutralizing shampoo to stop the developer from developing and um as i showed in the beginning of the video i definitely use the whole um l'oreal evolve system that's what i like to use for my human hair wigs it's a very good um, affordable product line that let my hair air dry and one of the tricks that I always use when I'm drying particularly wigs where I want the curls to have like volume and fluff is I will literally dry them upside down <laughs> literally like, I'll take them on my wig head and I'll pin them upside down so that as it's drying it's getting all this volume at the top so that when I'm done I don't have to do a lot of picking which, you know, just like with your natural hair, it eliminates you having to do a lot of like detangling when it's time to wash your hair when you gotta, you know, comb out those knots. I absolutely, like I said, love the results. I'm so happy I did this. But yes, thank you so much for watching and I hope my video was helpful to you if you are trying to dye your hair for the first time, whether it's a wig or, or your natural hair. Hopefully my video was helpful to you. So thank you again and take care. Bye.